I'm a research scientist at mm -hmm. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Uh, my research is uh, relativistic astrophysics. So what that is, is essentially we are looking at the universe and we are trying to understand what does it tell us about itself. We're trying to understand the nature that okay. controls the universe evolution, the structure, the history. And we do that by flying spacecraft in the solar system. We are flying spacecraft, those that would look very deep in the universe and trying to understand how it was uh, started. And that's basically, that's what I do. What's the weirdest place in the solar system? What's the weirdest place in the solar system? That's a good question. Hmm, for me, what I would like to see, what I found it strange, I think I would like to see the methane lakes uh, on uh, uh, Triton. So it's uh, uh, landing on that, uh, on that satellite you will see of, uh, of, of, of Saturn. You will see very interesting lakes made of very cold liquids. And so I would like to see those. And so they will, they will be vaporizing and they will, will be interesting to see what's going on on the surface of that satellite. For me, that will be exciting to see. It's not really weird, it's exciting. So, but the strangest places, Venus, Venetian surface would be interesting to see because we landed only two spacecraft in, on Venus. And so initially when the first lander was going to land on Venus, we thought that, hmm, is the temperature on the surface of Venus similar to that of our own planet? Mm -hmm. Maybe we thought that if we have uh, the same temperatures like we have here on, on Venus, then the life may exist. And as the spacecraft was landing, going through the atmosphere of Venus, temperature was going higher, higher, and even higher. And then we realized, no, it's too hot. Life cannot exist. But if we travel in the atmosphere, if you have a balloon that travels in the atmosphere, in the clouds of Venus, there may be some bacteria that lives in the clouds. And so potentially there may be life not on the surface of Venus, but in the atmosphere. And that's what I'd like to see. So that's a kind of a weird place where life may exist, but yes, not only in the oceans of those uh, satellites of Jupiter and Saturn, but also in the Venetian clouds, in the Venetian atmosphere. That would be fun. What secret of the solar system do you most want to find out? I would like to find out how many more planets uh, we are yet to discover in the solar system because uh, we are able, we, 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 have, we, we have eight planets. The Pluto used to be a planet, no longer. <laughs> we demoted uh, Pluto, it's no longer a planet. Mm -hmm. But uh, our data that we collect from spacecraft that are moving in the solar system and the planetary orbits indicate that we don't know many things about solar system. There may be a big planet similar to our own Earth with a mass similar to our own planet, but it may be very far from Earth, maybe 500 times further away than the Earth from the Sun. So at those distances, there may be many of those uh, planets similar to our own Earth. We just never saw them. But we seem to have the good understanding that there may be more of those planets to discover that the, our, our solar system has many more planets would be fun, would be, would be interesting to see. How are you going to find out about that? Oh, that's good. So we will fly multiple small spacecraft in those uh, regions very far away. We have to build a very inexpensive but very capable spacecraft and that's what we are doing now. So we will use solar sails. Solar sailing is like you are on a sailboat. Uh, you have a wind, uh, you have sail and you have a boat that goes in the uh, yeah. in the ocean. But instead of using the wind and instead of using the uh, sort of the boat, we will use a spacecraft that will uh, use solar photons. The light that is that sun emits will push our sail and we will use the light emitted by the sun uh, to drive our sailcraft. And so by, by doing that we can reach very high velocities because as we travel far away you want to have a short travel times. Because now with chemical technologies that we have with propulsion, it takes decades to reach Pluto, going further will be even longer. We don't want to wait for that long. We want to fly faster. So with the solar sailing, we can form trajectories that will be at least maybe seven to 10 to 20 times faster than we can do with uh, chemical propulsion. And that's something very exciting because as you grow up, you will be able to fly a spacecraft pretty much every month. 
to distant regions of the solar system. And those spacecraft, small, agile, they will be able to discover a lot of interesting things about the solar system. Whether or not we have other planets, maybe there is, uh, some people think there may be some primordial black hole orbiting our solar system. Maybe we'll be able to see that. That's what we will be doing. We'll be traveling, exploring solar system and beyond by flying spacecraft and seeing what is out there because nobody has been there. No human being was that distant. And so we can fly spacecraft and see what other planets, what other worlds exist at those distances. Wow. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you for having me and I uh, enjoyed talking with you. So I'm sure we'll meet again at some point. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. Good.